Hello and welcome to Hobby King and Hobby King Live. Now today we are at a Prima uh, mountain site here in Hong Kong because we are following up on a concept that we've been throwing around the office for quite some time now. We've been dead keen to do it but haven't had the right conditions. Now we do, everything's in place, everything is in place, everything is perfect and uh, basically the idea is will it slope? Uh, what is will it slope? Paul is about to tell you about that. For those of you that have never done slope gliding before, slope gliding involves taking a perfectly good mountain, a bunch of wind whipping up the mountain, and throwing your model off said mountain and finding out whether or not it will slope. <laughs> so we've taken some perfectly good airplanes here, some that aren't traditionally slope gliders, and we're going to find out whether or not it will slope. Right, okay, ready? Okay. It's quite a hike up there, so we're going to get hot and sweaty as well, but that's all part of the fun, so we'll see you up there. It's about 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, so we are here now at the top of the slope. The reason that I'm crouched in this rock here is because it's actually very windy out there, which is great for what we need. Um, so we are down this little sheltered spot so you can hopefully hear us. We've got the models behind them. We've got a great slope, which is exactly what you want because we've got amazing wind coming up there and should hopefully carry all these models afloat into the air. We'll see about that. So first of all, we're gonna talk you through the models. First of all, we have the uh, big uh, Hobby King P40N, everybody knows and loves, it's a notoriously good flyer. Uh, Paul's gonna hold it up. P40! That's the P40, 1700 millimeter model, just to get an idea of the size of that one. Uh, next, we have a uh, pit. Now, this pit was um, a sample that we decided not to purchase from uh, a different factory. Pit! What's the span? You hear that? 1500 millimeters. So again, pretty big, but it's a biplane. Uh, next, we have um, the original sample of the limited edition Vampire, uh, by which I mean it's not one of the limited editions, it's a pre-production sample. I think that one will actually slope the best out of all of them. Uh, vampire! Very good. The Vampire, as you can see there. Now, I should explain, what we've done to these models is take out all of the... Um, what would be useless equipment for sloping, so retracts, uh, any other dead weight and stuff like that. All we've got is perhaps the motor up front and some additional ballast to get it on the original CG. Actually, it's just a little bit forward because you need that forward balance point to really penetrate in these winds. So the next one is uh, BF110. Durafly BF110, everybody knows and loves that. It's the uh, twin that came out just at the end of last year. I think again that one will fly very well. All the props have been taken off, just remaining uh, on the model are the spinners and the motors. Retracts have been taken out as well. And the final one, the final one is a mystery C40. C47! What span? 1400 millimeters. 1400 millimeters. Again, pretty big. It's a twin. I think that should go rather well as well. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so originally the powered version of this model calls for a 6S. Now I was going to put the 6S in the nose, uh, which finishes around here, but seeing as the wind is dropping a bit, I'm actually going to remove this and put less weight but further forward right up the nose here. Hopefully I'll still get the CAG and it will lighten the wing loading, so uh, help on the slope. Let's do it. Let's do this. Right. Will it slope? Yeah. 
Um, How are you going to land this thing? Well, landing is the uh, interesting part. Interestingly, I did keep the flaps on this one, so that might help slowing down. Uh, a bit worried about the rocks though, it's a big piece of foam. Let's just give it a go. All right. Taking the the motor out, if you can see in there, you got that. Yep. Retracts are out. Everything is sealed up, and I've just got a 2200 Frias right in the nose, and it balances well. It's very light, so this should go fine. Ready? Yeah. Will it slow? Whoa! <laughs> yes, it will. Look at that. That's excellent. <laughs> I like this one. All right, so I think we've answered the question of whether or not this limited edition uh, pre-production Durfly Vampire will uh, slope, and it will. All right, next one. Uh, close. What's next? Uh, let's do something a little harder. 47? Let's get the C47 up there. Right. Something a little I'm gonna land. less plausible. Landing. Just done a couple of real iffy flying airplanes for sloping, um, the P40 and the DC3, and so now we're gonna try a little bit cleaner model, the BF110. So, Chris, what do we think, Chris? Think will it slope? I'd like to think so. All right, let's give it a go. I think the question is, <laughs> can Chris slip? All right, all right. Anyway, in all seriousness, are we ready? We are ready. ready. Will it slope? So far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so successful is Chris's uh, uh, BF110. Uh, we're going to do some chase cam Ow! <laughs> some chase cam stuff now with our GoPro stuck on my wicked wing. Let's give that a go. <laughs> this doesn't slow. Okay, so 
Chris managed to slope the uh, BF110, um, quite an accomplishment with all this drag, um, but um, some good lift, so it was relatively easy. Uh, Chris Wilson is here now. There we go. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Chris is going to uh, slope or attempt to slope your favourite your favourite aircraft. My favourite aircraft, aircraft pits us as well. We'll see if it will do it. It'll be the pits. So this this thing's set up with uh, about 10 pounds of uh, batteries in it to CG it with the undercarriage off, taping up the nose. Um, uh, I doubt there's enough lift. It's gonna fail, which which kills me because this is my favorite plane. This and is I, because we know you're the best pilot. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> if I lose this plane, I'm gonna be pissed. It's a hike down there, man. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, we want our receiver back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just like, just like the FPV plane that got Look at this World War One aerodynamics here right now. Look at this way, we'll get the first place to put the bottom of the thing. Actually, all I, I, plan, I plan on this thing flying again under power someday. <laughs> Look at him laugh. <laughs> Little does he know. I think, he's been, I think he's been out in the sun too long, he's delirious. <laughs> It's not my fault. But pull up <laughs> elevator. So, hang on. so you think if we take a battery out, I it'll be so. okay. I All right, there's another up. challenge. We're challenged. We're gonna we're gonna change the CG and try it again. I don't wanna call <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we get to ride in a helicopter. Yeah, you have to do it backwards here then. Should we do it in stages? Yeah. Alright, you stay there. I'll stay here so we can chuck it up. Yeah. Come on, man, that's halfway there. So that was the end of Willet Slope. I think it went particularly well. Uh, Chris, um, your pits, what do you think? Yeah, sabotage. It has a brick in the nose. They're like, oh, it'll fly, fine. Actually, fly you know, fine. it made a couple loops, so I think with a little more wind or a little less weight, it still sloped just fine. Yeah. It'll, it'll fly again. Honestly, Sorry. I would still call it success. I wouldn't call any of them dismal failures. No, that's true. I think pretty much in the right conditions, anything will slope. But we're interested to see what you guys can slope. So maybe a 450 heli or an auto G, something like that. Uh, we're about done now. Um, we're going to just slope for fun. No, I got a quad top. Alright, slope for fun. <laughs> Chris, 